Hello Cancers and welcome back to my channel Luma Moon Tarot. So Cancers I'm here doing your little nightly reading right um, and I asked the question because tonight today is um, the Lionsgate portal. Now the energy is going to be lingering for about four days to a week something like that right four to five days something I usually feel it for about four. Um, and I asked, well, is Cancer going to be able to go through the Lionsgate portal? And it looks like you are. As soon as this came out, I heard the outlook is good, okay? <laughs> because you have adopted both Empress and Emperor energy. And you're tough as nails, Cancer. Anyway, um, I haven't gone through the rest of them yet, so we'll see what we get. But Cancer, this reading is for the collective. Um, it may or may not resonate with you, so just take what does resonate. Toss out the rest. You guys know, right? And don't try to force any reading into your world. And thank you, Cancer, so much for all of your support. The likes, the subscribes, the comments, the shares, um, donations, all the love, the smiley face emojis. And thank you to whoever called me Mammy Becca because I absolutely love you for that. It is sticking, guys. I'm telling you. It's sticking. Mammy Becca, I love that. Um, so, yeah, Cancer, today is very important because it's the Lionsgate portal, okay? What does that mean? That means, you know... I kind of see it as like sort of a vacuum, okay, where you're standing here in front of the vacuum cleaner, somebody turns on the suction, right, and you're getting sucked into this portal while everything you don't need anymore is being left behind. I don't know. That's the image that I, I'm getting in my head, okay? Everything, like your it, like the outlook is good. Will you be able to go through the portal? Because you have to be light. I'm I'm seeing the weighing of the heart. I, I'm picking up on a lot of Egyptian stuff lately. The weighing of the heart, right? Is your heart light enough to pass through this portal? And through the other side, Cancer, I mean, our wish is coming true. Uh, and I, I've seen it in my own life, you know. Um, I, I was telling my kids, and Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory keeps coming up. I'm telling you, that chocolate room and that song that he's singing, you know, um, come with me and you'll be. It, it, it was brought up again this morning with my kids. And uh, after my daughter's wishes just all of a sudden appeared before us, okay, at 8 o'clock in the morning. So 888, okay? I'm telling you guys, it, now is the time to figure out what you want for real, right? What path do you want? It looks like you already have. You are standing so flipping strong here at this portal. I'm telling you. And the outlook is good. That's what I heard. The outlook is good. Why is it just an outlook? It's because that each and every one of you individually have to make a choice. You have to choose what it is that you really, really want. And you have to recognize and accept the things that you don't want and shouldn't come with you through this doorway. You have to be light. But the vision that I'm getting is a vacuum cleaner and you getting sucked into it, right, down that portal. And everything else that no longer serves you kind of falls away. All right, that's the feeling that I'm getting here. I'm seeing somebody, too, really wanting a soulmate connection with you. I feel like this is your person um, from your past who now wants to put in the work. Here's the Two of Cups. So for some of you, somebody could be coming towards you, and it could end up in like a little celebration here. They're, <laughs> they're getting prepared now, Cancer, brushing their teeth, flexing their muscles in the mirror, right? Um yeah, trimming their nose hairs. That's what I got in, in another reading. <laughs> Getting ready to come towards you. Um, I, and all of these came out. This person is, I feel like they're kind of getting messages in their sleep here with the newspaper on top of their head. They're starting to see everything clearly. They're seeing whoever they've been around. I feel like this person's been around somebody else or they could have, they could even... Um, be getting the message that they've been a clown, but I feel like um, they're around somebody who's fake 
maybe um, the just very fake, fake cheerfulness or something. This person is going to start being aware of this, yeah. Uh, you know, I mean, this looks like somebody who's sleeping, doing nothing, but look at their receiving messages. It's right across their third eye and their crown chakra. They're receiving messages here in their sleep about whoever they've been with, that they're very, very fake. It's, look at how tightly they're hanging onto this balloon. This is a wish. Balloons, to me, represent wishes. Um... And this person's hanging on tight and laughing about it. I feel like that's what they're getting here in these messages. They're with somebody fake who's keeping them from their wish fulfillment, hanging on to that, but um, laughing about it too at the same time. And this person, I feel like they're they're getting a creative ideas, right, on how to reach you. Yeah, here's that fakeness. You, I feel like you have more power than the rest of the people in this boat. Um, it's almost like they don't even know what to do. And here you are taking, I feel like you're going to calmer waters, but you may need to release some things from your past. Okay. Or it's this person here. Um, I feel like whoever this is, the karmic individual they may be working extra hard on this or so really straining to be fake at this point, okay? I feel like you're the one with all the power here for some reason, but you stand for power in your own reading right now. Um, but yeah, your person, this masculine energy, they want to work and they want to do the work. They're, I feel like they're getting the messages now. Okay, and they need to think of a creative plan somehow to come towards you. They're kind of a mess. They've got all different ideas, right, in their head right now, and they can't seem to unjumble everything, okay? But they are thinking on this. They're, they're being creative. Their creativity is opening up. They could be having a, like a, a lot of messages coming at this person all at once. Do you see what I'm saying? Like one message after the another, after another, they need to do the work and kind of get that unraveled, right? Clean themselves up. Look, some of you could even be proposed to. Okay. I feel like this masculine could feel very tired and fatigued at this time because they're getting so many downloads. But I, I really see this person totally wanting to come out to you. I mean, look at all of this. Getting all dialed up. Getting ready, right? Doing the work. Wanting you, all right? Um, wanting their two of cups. Wanting a celebration. Some of you, this person wants to propose. They want to approach you, Cancer. Okay? They do. Um, and they're realizing a lot about whoever it is that they're with that's really straining hard to try to keep them from this dream, okay, this wish. That's really what I'm seeing here, guys. But, you know, I asked the question, will cancer be able to make it through the portal? Will cancer be able to make it through the portal? And they said, the outlook is good. That's what they said. The outlook is good because you are so flipping strong here, Cancer. Like, and you know it. I see you. I can see you guys smiling. You know it. Yeah, look, look. Chariot card on the bottom of the deck. Um, I feel like you're, and that's another confirmation to, to me that you'll be able to keep moving forward into this new cycle. The chariot is very fast. It's that suction I was telling you about, right? It just, yeah, I feel like, uh, but everything that um, no longer serves you needs to be released, right? And I feel like you guys are, are doing it. You're doing it. Now, you know, you always have free will, right? The outlook looks good. You always have free will. You could... It's all about what you choose, okay, Cancer? But yeah, it's very important at this time, my darlings. Please listen. Please listen. It's really important at this time to know what it is that you want in your future. 
in your future. Okay? And I feel like you guys are taking a stand. I feel like you know already. You're taking absolute control over your life here, right here. So, you know, but for those of you who are still confused, right, make sure you decide who and what you want, okay? Um, yeah, some of you are still stuck in your mind about this, you know, kind of going back and forth. But, but my person may be coming. Your person may be coming, Cancer, but you need to use your discernment. You have grown a lot on this journey, okay? You don't seem to look back honey you have healed yourself picked yourself from the ground and built yourself up right from the ground up on your own and i feel like it's been such a alone kind of journey right a solo dolo journey only the divine has been with you you had to do all of this on your own now right here i can already tell that you've accomplished a lot i can see how much you've healed and the battle that you've been in and you're out here having a victory now now is when you get to be and you know um the, uh, i'm hearing willy wonka and the chocolate uh, the chocolate factory song again what is that called pure imagination yeah I feel like now is the time when you get to um, transform this, but something has to come to an end. Okay, death is a transformative card. So now things, you get a chance to transform your world. Um, yeah, it, it's, uh, well, how does that song go? There's something about transforming your world. You can change the world, you know. Um, it's easy right there's nothing to it is that what he says um but yeah it's all about what you wish and i made a <laughs> i did a reading on this like a week ago guys and i told you manifest because in the beginning of that song thank you divine in the beginning of that song it, he says hold your breath make a wish and count to three this is the time where you have to re like aim high really wish what are your wishes what do you wish for you know focus on that high vibing things right don't stay stuck in your mind things figure out what needs to fall to the wayside figure out what for you what's going to be best for you cancer okay and i can't make that decision that's got to, you have to do that you know um i mean i'd hold your hand through it if i was there but i can't make the decision for you you have to decide and i feel like there are some of you out here that are still yeah mentally conflicted stuck in your head over what to let go and what to hold on to it's you know, I feel like the divine is asking you, yes, be strong through this. You know your truth. You've been standing in your truth this whole time. You've had integrity, right? You've got your boundaries up. Um, and the divine is like, be strong through this, right? Um, try to figure out what it is that you want. And, and if you're strong and you can do that, you pass through the portal and you become an empress because let me explain the empress this is a solo dolo journey like i was saying okay you first were very loving you still are right but you gave your love so freely that people took advantage of that love they took you for granted they didn't give you the same love back you had to learn the queen of cups energy and that's what started all the spirituality in that cup as well then you were stabbed in the back, betrayed, lied to. You had to heal from that on your own. And now, like the Queen of Swords, you've learned the Queen of Swords, right? You've learned every aspect of every queen in the deck here. So you went from the Queen of Swords energy, getting clarity on certain things and situations and people, and expecting the truth from everybody who comes towards you, right? And you also started focusing on yourself at that time. With all the healing you did, 
you were able to stand up and focus on your stability not wanting to be in that pain anymore you wanted to get grounded stable out of your emotions a bit so you could really focus on um, your creative endeavors right your uh, family your home your finances your business everything that that you were building you know the queen of pentacles that's the energy that you were learning the queen of pentacles energy focuses on things that will grow for her and that's what you did and now you're in this energy where okay I'm standing really strong I've been through a battle I've been th put through it and I'm coming out victorious now I feel good what do I what do I do now right where do I go from here I have this I have my groove back and I'm stronger than I ever was before says cancer right that's when you turn into the Queen of Wands. And at that point, you're grabbing a hold of your own life, your own future, and running with it. You're taking control of your life, and you're going after the things that really um, you're passionate about, that, that light, it lights that passion, that fire within you, right? And now you've learned every queen in the deck. Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords, Queen of Pentacles and Queen of Wands, right? Now you're an Empress, and I feel I feel like you're an Emperor energy as well, because since your masculine didn't come to make things right, you had to take on that role and energy for yourself. And so you've got so much drive, so much strength. That's why the outlook looks good, right? And I feel like um, you've been through so much. But you're still here at, uh, some of you are at the edge of this portal, still in a mental conflict here. That's what I'm seeing. Still hanging on. Okay. And I know you're watching a lot of tarot. Um, and we do see people coming towards you. But you have to decide. After all you've been through and all that you've worked towards. What is it that you deserve in your future? Okay, only you can answer the question, but here I'm seeing so much conflict at the Lionsgate portal. It's a bit concerning, Cancer, because I feel like this is the time where you really have to decide what it is that you truly want. You know, what is it that you want? Either way, you have to, you have to decide. Tell the universe, right? Yeah, that's what I'm seeing here so far, Cancer. Yeah, somebody wants to come towards you and apologize, too. Um, you could be dealing, I saw Pisces in the deck. It didn't come out, though. So you could be dealing with the Pisces, who's just kind of trying to either put something off or hide, maybe. Uh, or a Virgo here, I'm feeling. Um... And I'm the only one who sees this as a Virgo card, so just so you know. But this is the hermit without the hoodie, okay? Um, but yeah, this is somebody who's in a lot of regret, wanting to get you to calmer waters, but they might they may not be quite ready yet. They're standing, they're still standing in the middle, looking at something that um, doesn't have any love in it, knowing that they tossed a blessing in love to a curb, Cancer. And knowing that they turn their back on the real deal here. But still, there's something about this card that tells me that they're not ready to come towards you yet. Because if you get in this boat with them now, they're going to have control of the boat. And you're going to be, once again, trapped and stuck in your mind. Okay, so that's why it's very important that you decide. Um where you want to be this is in fact somebody who wants to come towards you okay and uh and make things right okay they're very much and all up in their head about this and i feel like you know that you can also sense that this person's coming forward but i feel like this person they really played you and took advantage of you in the past okay um, but yeah, you, you can sense this person is completely falling apart, broken hearted, right? 
broken hearted and sad. I feel like um, it's because they walked away from you and now they want you back. But the thing is, is it may get you stuck and trapped in your mind if you if you take them back now. Because I feel like this person is still with this karmic out here. They haven't broken free. The karmic is still trying to do all that they can to hold on to this person. They're, you're, this masculine here is just now getting the message. Okay? They want to put in the work with you. But they haven't done the work on themselves yet in their own life to break free from a karmic situation. Okay? Uh, some of these people may just pop right up at you. You haven't been talking to them. They're stressing out. It feels like a pressure cooker. All right? They, they are. They're under an extreme amount of pressure. They want to break free. They're, they're currently getting ready to come towards you while they're still connected to a karmic. Okay? Um, so you have to decide. This is somebody that you haven't been talking to. Nothing. Okay? They haven't heard a peep. Sorry, cancer. The battery died again. This person hasn't heard a peep from you, and you're using your intuition. You can pick up on their energy here, and I feel like you guys know they're about to come in and talk, right? You, This person could pop up on you very, very suddenly in this energy. It's it, We're in that energy where people are, are choosing a definite path. They're, they're driven to do it. They're called to do it, okay? So, yeah, this person could pop up and, uh, you know, or I can see this as this is one of the things that they're falling apart about because they could have had kind of harsh communication with you in the past, maybe said some things to you, and you may have taken it really well, but um, that could be something that they're in a lot of regret about. All right. Um, yeah, this person, they want to take action. This person wants to talk. They see things clearly now. They're receiving the messages from the divine. I'm telling you, with this newspaper across their third eye, they're getting it. Okay? They're getting it, Cancer. They're getting that clarity. Okay? That it's time. Look at this. It's time to take action. They see you as their absolute match. This could be a fire sign. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. I've got Pisces out here. They finally showed their face, right? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aquarius. I feel like um, I feel like you were considered maybe the other woman, right? It's not gender specific, but the other person in in this situation. But I feel like you're not wasting your time or playing any more games with this person. This person has played you in the past, and they're really good at it. They're, this could be someone very good-looking, smells good, is really beefy, you know. Um, somebody who could be a bit impulsive, take, they may take a, a risky, make risky moves, that kind of thing. But I feel like this person here is all about taking action. And, uh, yeah, they haven't told you how they feel yet, Cancer, but you're about to find out. They want this new beginning with you. You could, this person could actually show up um, this week or in the next four to five days and try to defend this. They're feeling, they, I feel like they know they're going to have to defend themselves because you're going to have a lot of questions maybe for them. They're looking into this. Clarify that. Thank you. Yeah. They're learning about the spirituality. They're looking into some of the messages that they've been getting, some of the things maybe that you've been talking about. Um, they're getting messages. I'm telling you, um, you could even, they could even be watching you cancer and see you as an earth angel because of all that you've accomplished. Yeah. 
I feel like this person really wants to come forward here. Tower moment, very suddenly. You may have this person blocked out already. They left you sitting here with no clarity, no answers, no nothing. And I feel like you're moving forward. <laughs> they shouldn't have left you sitting here that long. You've become really super strong. Um, yeah. I feel like you you are making a decision here, Cancer, to move forward. Make Making that decision, man, um, that you've already been through it, you've healed, you've bossed up, you're, and you really don't need anyone in this, in this energy. So a lot of you are deciding to just go out there and be single, um, but I feel like you absolutely know what you need to leave behind. And that's anything that no longer serves you. Bottom of the deck, this person, I feel like they're going to get defeated. They're going to have a painful ending here because they're attached to the devil. And as long as they're attached to the devil, I feel like if you're in this earth angel energy here, Cancer, you can't deal with that. You won't deal with that. Right? So I feel like this is you making a decision you know, you're standing by the divine too. Like this is you like standing up. It's almost like the divine's got you and they're watching and I see a little smile here, right? Um, but you're like taking a stand, you know, because they never left your side through this whole entire journey. And you're like, I know what I'm doing and I'm following the divine path. That's what that tells me. I know what I'm doing and I'm following the divine path, and I'm doing it strong, and I'm, I'm impenetrable. That's what this is. That's what I'm seeing, and I love that. I, I freaking love it, Cancer. Yeah, so that's why the outlook is good, that you'll be going through the portal, okay? So yes, I feel like now is the time though you guys need to focus on what you want your future to look like. Envision things like as with as much detail as you can like you already have a cancer and 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 focus on that. Really meditate on it. Now that you've made your decision here, I think for the for most of you, right? There could be some of you that are still like I don't know, that's something that you, you know, you need to meditate on that and and make your a decision, right? But for the most part, I feel like you guys are now you've made a decision. You're back and you're standing by the divine. The divine is standing by you. Um, now you're going to be continuing to co-create, okay? And um, that means to manifest, right? So envision what you want in the new future. I love this reading for you, but there is someone here who's going to have a painful ending here, but it's because it's because they chose to remain with the devil. That's their choice, okay? Anyway, Cancers, that's what I've got for you for this current energy, right? The Lionsgate portal man yeah um anyway i hope this helps i hope it resonates with you i love you guys um and uh, if you like this video click the like button right subscribe to my channel if you like this vibe and it's resonating with you and um yeah join the family and until next time cancers know that i love you take care of you and peace out